Good morning. Uh, my name is Lawrence Quartz, uh, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Uh, local cars and coffee. I brought out my Ferrari Testarossa, which I've had for a couple of years. Testarossa. Bought it uh, two and a half years ago and just finished a one year restoration on the car. It's completely uh, disassembled and put back together, repainted. Uh, lots of mechanical work and all kinds of other little things that were uh, issues with it. Bring it all back up to factory spec. So, uh, just been my first Ferrari. It's been a fun car to have so far. Yeah. What, what made you want a Testarossa over, well, really anything? That's, that's a pretty good, uh, yeah, when, I mean, when, you was, when I was a kid, you know, everybody wanted to be Don Johnson, you know, and just want that, that Ferrari Testarossa that he had. I mean, and it's one of those things growing up that it, it just never left. You know, I've always wanted a Testarossa, so started looking for one about three, four years ago. Came across this one two and a half years ago, and decided it was time. Yeah. You know, so, what what's your favorite thing about owning this car? Uh, quite a bit, quite a few things, I guess. Uh, I enjoy just in, enjoying the car, you know, riding around, seeing people's reactions with it. Uh, you get thumbs up from people from old ladies to young kids. I mean, everybody knows, you know, likes the car, you know, and it, it's, it's, it's nice to be able to come to events and be able to talk to people and enjoy, you know, not only my car, but their cars, is, you know, and it's, uh, it's just been a fun vehicle to have. Yeah. Uh, do you have any plans for it in the future, like do any additions or are you just going to leave it? Uh, no, pretty much stock. There's a few little things that have to be left to done in the restoration. Uh, there's some parts in the trunk that have to be redone and, and uh, a few other little you know, mo you know, things that need to be done to bring it up to, uh, to real factory specs, but that's about it. It's, I want it to be kind of a stock car. The only thing that I've really changed on the car is the wheels. The wheels are off a later model Ferrari. Uh, so that's about the only thing I've changed on it. And I still have the stock wheels that go with it. I just, I want it a little bit update, a little bit bigger. That's about the only thing I'll do to it. Uh, anything else you want to tell us that, that's like sort of unique to Testarossa ownership that uh, you don't get owning like a Camaro? Uh, it's a Ferrari. Yeah, there's like three of them in Baton Rouge. There's only like 5,400 or 5,500 made from start of production run to end of production run. They make 250 Camaros a day out of GM. You know, they make like 30,000 of them a year. You know, so yeah, Camaros, Mustangs, even Corvettes. Uh, went to the Corvette factory recently. They produce 150 Corvettes a day. You know, so it's like I would want a Corvette, and I like Corvettes. And my dad actually just bought a Corvette. That's where we were at the for our, uh, Corvette factory. Uh, that was a great couple of days we spent there watching that car get built. But it's like you said, there's 150 of them a day. They make they make 20 something thousand of them a year. You know, it's just a unique vehicle. You know, I, you know, like I said, I, I drive around Baton Rouge, I'll see, um, you know, three or four Corvettes every day. I never see another Ferrari Testarossa. And like I said, there's, I know only three. There might be more, but I know of only three in Baton Rouge. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's just, how, it's just unique. You know, I had the chance to buy a Corvette or, or I even I own, uh, I own several cars. I own, uh, own a uh, 78 Lotus Esprit. Oh man, I uh, bet that's James Bond blast. car. I own that car. It's white, just like the one they drove off the bridge at the, uh, Submarine. Yeah, the Submarine car. Yeah, I own one of those. I own a 93, uh, Mustang, uh, special edition convertible, which they only made like 1100 of those cars. I own a 66 Mustang that I'm doing a restoration on and I own, uh, several motorcycles so I like unique stuff you yeah. know and I like to have multiple stuff you know so